Hello, this is State of the Week, and I'm joined by Spencer the Knowledge Fear. And uh, welcome. Uh, welcome, Johnny. <laughs> yes, <laughs> big yeah. casual boxing, both sides of the ponds, a bit exciting as well. Ma um, oh. It was exciting the weekend. Yeah. Uh, Wilder v Brazil. Uh, what an explosive victory it was for oh. for, for Wilder. Um, and, and it was explosive. It was scary to look at. When you think about it, it was, it was scary um, to see the punching power demonstrated by Deontay Wilder. What Deontay Wilder has done with that knockout has now made equal priority in the 50-50 split that he should get against Anthony Joshua. Do you agree with that? Yes, I do. I do. I do because Anthony Joshua hasn't fought in a little while and it's all... Of, unfortunately, now, we are like microwaves. We are here and now. If we can't see it right mm. now, we don't want it. We ain't gone to the days where we, we want to put the seasonings in and leave the food to marinate. No, we want it here and now. And what Deontay Wilder done on a weekend was a here and now kind mm. of knockout, which was, was freakish. He's a one-trick pony, but what he does with that one trick we is looked, We looked at Brazil, and obviously people are going to make the comparison of, of how AJ did with Brazil. Of and, course they are. And, and AJ was only 16 fights in, a relative novice as a professional at the time, but still managed to get the win uh, in fashion. Um, uh, Brazil made a, a, a fatal mistake of walking in, trying to walk down. I, I, I don't know. You know what? I think that Dante Wild is a person that can smell fear. And I think he smoked the fear inside of Dominic Brazil mm. that made him perf perform in the way that he did. But also, I think he owed boxing something because we've been talking, ah, oh, man, you lost to Tyson Fury. But after seeing that hellacious mm. knockout win, we're like, oh, well, we've got to calm down now. Now, regardless at the time where um, Dante Wilder fought Brazil and when Andy Joshua fought Brazil, we were looking on how was the performance because at the end of the day, we were looking at Eric Molina as a measuring stick mm. to, to try to, to muster how um, Deontay Wilder would do against AJ and we're saying, well, you know, he did go rounds with, with Molina. Molina stung him a little bit. He always gets I, stung. I think what Wilder's done is just, just made it quite clear and relevant that he's the biggest puncher out there in the heavyweight division. Is it added pressure on, uh, uh, on AJ uh, with his fight against Ruiz in, in Yes, it is. And we've got to be shine. Wrong. Of course it is. As much as, as, much as maybe Andy Joshua says it's not added pressure, but uh, it is because you're, all eyeballs are on the, on, on the top three. What must he do to win over the fans in New York? He's going to have to put in a performance that we're going to say, wow, he's going to have to give us a wow performance. So he's in a no-win situation because if he gets rid of Ruiz early, you're going to say he's a standing one, the guy was nothing special. If he makes nah, it go long... We got, let's be real now. <clears throat> to me, um, Andy Ruiz is a better fighter uh, than... Than the Miller, guy, Jarrell Miller. Than, than Jarrell Miller, who who he's a better fighter. He's more tactically skilled. Mm. Um, he throws better combinations. Knows how yeah, to but, gauge. But you range. know that you not. But the general public will think this guy's a standard. Yeah, I know. No, listen. I'm telling the general public tune into this fight because. Andy Ruiz can actually fight. Mm. He's got hands on him. He can throw really good hands. I think it was a uh, it was Andy Clark that, that alluded to the fact that what what Andy Ruiz is he is a, a world class version of John McDermott, mm. the, the, the right the former, yeah, yeah, yeah. The former yeah. Um, uh, yeah. British heavyweight champ. So we have to look on that and we just gotta say to ourselves and we've got to be real with it and say Andy Joshua has to perform, and I believe that Andy Joshua will perform, knowing that what's on stake. What's, what's, what's at stake here, he, he's going to have to perform because right now, the fans, everybody after the weekend has all swayed onto Deontay Wilder and, and the general consensus is that if Deontay Wilder hits Anthony Joshua, he'll knock him out. That is a general if consensus. If he anybody like that, he'll knock him yeah, out. Right. We're speaking of another heavyweight to me to being, being praising um, <coughs> Wilder for his success and that was uh, Tyson Fury against Swartz. How do you see that fight going? Um, I'm going to say this now. Tyson Fury is a guy that raises to the occasion. The bigger the occasion, the better Tyson Fury comes out, mm. right? Swartz could be the fact of, even though he's getting, Tyson Fury's getting all this adulation and all the rest of it, Tyson Fury could, have a, could be docile in this fight. Docile because Swartz isn't a threat. He's not going to be alert to think, oh, I'm going to get a big shot here. or, or he, he, Swartz, is, Swartz isn't a threat. Um, Tyson Fury's just going to do Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury reminds me uh, a lot of Muhammad Ali. Like, Muhammad Ali would fight guys who were like also around opponents mm -hmm. and not give his his best work right mm -hmm. he wouldn't like oscar bonavinia those guys when he was under pressure when he was under pressure going. george foreman <laughs> so Liston. there's a chance here it could it's a, it could be a, a, a banana, a banana no, no 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 way no way tyson don't fury, think? no look at tyson fury's re, rejuvenated now he's he's lo he's lost in total of body weight what terence crawford weighs Mm -hmm. Right? So, no, no, Tyson Fury, they, no, no banana skin. Tyson Fury's got this, he's going to win this fight, but how he wins it, 
I'm not too sure how he wins it, but he's going to win the fight. OK, uh, on the agenda card, Callum Smith has been announced to fight Hassan uh, Nadam. How do you see this fight going? Um, Nadam being 35 years old, Callum Smith, 29. Um, I would have preferred a better opponent for Callum Smith to go in and fight. But I think right now, because um, he's going to be on the zone and on Sky, right? Mm -hmm. So people hear that and straight away, the money goes up and up and up and up. Right, and Callum Smith is no easy proposition for anyone. He's the best super middleweight in the world. Give the guy his dues, mm -hmm. right? But Nadam, I don't know what he's going to bring to the table. He's he's an old guy now. He tried to compete in the Olympics as well in the mm -hmm. last Olympics when they were allowing professional boxers in. So I, I see Callum Smith winning this fight. I don't think Nadam's going to bring anything. But what Nadam has got, he has got experience. So he could kind of try to look to old man him out. But the way that I see. Uh, Callum Smith performing right now, especially under the tutelage and the <coughs> relationship that he has with Joel Gallagher, I can't see no one beating Callum Smith for now. We also saw at the weekend Taylor against uh, Barach. What a performance. Listen, Taylor's the guy. Josh Taylor, um, after that performance, we all knew that he was a good fighter, right? But to put in that performance... At home, for at a world home, title, under right, pressure. For a, for a world title... To, 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 and he got hurt a couple times in that fight as well. And for him to come back in the way that he did has just proven to the, he's, he's arrived now. Mm -hmm. And I see him winning the Super Series. Trust me, Progress is a very good fighter, but I see him beating him. I see him beating Progress on a late stoppage. Um, I've called it. Um, he's, uh, he's excellent. Uh, Anu uh, V. Rodriguez, uh, what do we learn? Listen, what do we learn? <clears throat> Anui didn't teach us anything. We know, <laughs> we know that you can punch, right? But what, more than anything, is his temperament. His, mm. his temperament and it was, it was, and he, his variation of shots, how he goes head to body, because it was a body shot that, that Rodriguez was finished by the body shot that was the yeah. last shot. But the first knockdown, Rodriguez looked over to his corner like he shook his head like, brother, what, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, Where's that come yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, what, what's, what's going on here? You look at this guy, and he is, he's, he's, he's a, he's a sharp-looking, I knew he's a sharp-looking guy, and you think, this guy, the guy's a terror. Mm. He's, a, he's a terror. He is an absolute terror, and it's a pleasure to watch him in, 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 in the Super Series, and I've got him beating um, Nonito Donaire, even though I love Nonito Donaire for what he's done. And what well, he's big shout, big shout. No, it's not, that's not yeah. a big shout, seriously. No, I don't think you could speak to anyone and be realistic and say, you can see how Nonito Dene is going to win the fight. I can't, mm. I can't see him winning the fight. Stars fall. Haney uh, being around this weekend. Uh, is the dream a future uh, star at lightweight? You know what? He's being trained by Mike McCollum. Oh, right? really? The, Old school. the former freeweight world champion. Yeah. If you young guys want to learn anything about boxing, just watch Mike McCollum, James Tony, one and two, and it will blow your mind. <laughs> Haney is a very good fighter. I remember he came, he came to London. Uh, um, must have been about five years ago as, a, as an amateur. He came to London uh, and he was he was working with uh, Baba Tundi Ajayi, who trains at Anti Yard, and they were doing little bits. Um, Haney's a good fighter, and I just think he just needs to be pushed but steered in the right way because he's done everything. He, he's done everything like him and his dad have done together. Like he's he, he's he's his dad's quite popular in, in uh, Las Vegas, um, and has been a decent businessman. So he's he's trying to position his son. So the link up now with him and um, the zone can only help him to get those big fights. There was going to be talk, there was talk about him and Luke Campbell fighting, mm. but now there's talk that Luke Campbell's going to be fighting Lomachenko now. So, <coughs> yeah. That's mm. good. We can talk all week. Quenta, we thank you. Uh, that's it for this week's uh, State of the Week. Make sure you tune in next week. Sky Sports. Feel it all.